In this video, we'll go through the steps for making this beginner-friendly, shadowed, color reflection text image. We'll start by opening the Canva workspace and adding text to the canvas. I'm using the Anton font at size 380. Begin with the letter D. Use your desired hex code to change its color, then download it as a PNG with a transparent background and upload it back to your uploads folder. Here's a quick trick for uploading files to your uploads folder. When you download a file, a notification appears at the top right of the screen. If you grab that notification, you can drag it directly to the uploads panel, provided it's open. If the panel isn't open, click to open it, then locate the file in the download icon at the top of your screen. From there, drag and drop it into your uploads folder for faster workflow. Once you've completed the D, delete it from the canvas and move on to the next letter. R. Change its color using the next hex code, download it as a PNG, and upload it back. Repeat this process for all the letters until each one is uploaded as a PNG. Next, we are going to bring each letter onto our workstation one at a time. Starting with the D, resize it to fit the full canvas. Doing this ensures that all your letters are the same size. After resizing, crop each letter individually by pulling the side edges in and repeat this process for all the letters. Highlight the D, click the edit icon, and navigate to effects, then shadows. Choose the drop shadow effect and adjust the settings. Blur, amount to 20, angle to 30, distance to 53, and intensity to 80. You can also change the shadow color using the color circle. Experiment with these settings to find a look you love. With the shadows completed, open the position tab and arrange the layers. The M should be at the top of the layers panel with the D at the bottom. Adjust the letter positions tightly to one another so the shadows fall nicely on the letters to the left. Once everything is aligned, group all the letters together and add a black background to the design. You can resize the grouped letters if needed. When you're satisfied with the look, download the design as a PNG. However, this time make sure you include the background and upload it back into the Uploads folder. Place the new image on the canvas and flip it vertically to create the reflection. Crop the top of the flipped image to align it closely with the bottom of the original letters and adjust the bottom crop as needed to fit the canvas. To create the fading reflection effect, search for a black gradient in Elements and add it to the bottom portion of your image. Move and crop the gradient as needed to achieve the right effect. And there you have it, an easier version of the text and reflection process. I hope you found this tutorial helpful.